Hey everybody, video here for you today. And I'd just like to say I had a great time in Florida with my brother and my sister visiting my father. A trip that was well needed and well appreciated by everybody. What I'd like to talk about today is the impact crater found under the Greenland ice sheet. And I'm sure all of you or most of you have heard of this story a previously unknown crater and but this is a subject I've been looking into for about six years six years ago even before I heard of Randall Carlson I made a video proposing an impact on the North American ice sheet and this is something I've kept my eye on and made videos concerning this topic for a long time but here on my channel yesterday I finished creating a new playlist um, the Younger Dryas Cataclysm I have a couple dozen videos concerning this time period so I made a playlist and it's on my front page and I will leave a link below now I will leave the link for this article below but it says you might not think of giant impact craters as being particularly subtle or in any way capable of hiding from us if so you'll be surprised by the discovery announced this week of a 31 kilometer or 19 mile wide crater we didn't know existed it says the crater lies beneath Hiawatha Glacier in northwestern Greenland. One of the tools researchers use to monitor the shrinking of the Greenland ice sheet is airborne radar surveys. The resulting high-resolution data shows the shape of the ice sheet surface, some of its internal layering, and even bedrock below. In this case, it revealed a suspiciously circular depression in the ice near the glacier's edge. And here are some maps of where the glacier lies and what lies beneath the ice here and this is a great discovery of course that time period from 12,000 years ago is when we know something really bad happened on the earth and it's been kind of a controversy what actually happened or was it a combination of things but obviously an important discovery the time period possibly fitting in with a time in history that we know something really really bad happened on the earth and put an end to a lot of large species of megafauna. The human population obviously crashed at this time, and there are myths and tales of widespread destruction and places going underwater. Now, the time period when this happened, it says, the researcher's best guess is based on the appearance of ice layering in the radar data. Smooth, bright layering is visible most of the way down. Based on similar work elsewhere, this ice is known to go back about 12,000 years. Below that is a dark layer and a chaotic mash at the bottom. A layer that looks dark to the radar instrument marks ice full of rocks and sediment that formed during a brief period of regional cooling known as the Younger Dryas between 11,700 and 12,800 years ago. The chaos beneath it is strange, though it doesn't appear in the radar images outside the crater. There you find visually identifiable layers from older time periods. But the evidence suggests that this possibly happened in the time period that we know something really bad happened on Earth. And a 31 kilometer wide crater, that is huge. And we have a lot of those on Earth. And that's what the end of my video is going to be on. The Earth is marked with craters, but they just don't look like craters on the moon. So in our mind's eye, we don't really see them as craters, but they are all over the Earth. How many 31 kilometer wide craters are on the Earth? Well, if you go by what's on the moon and then extrapolate up the size of the Earth compared to the moon, we should have thousands of these. But they are just wiped away by processes on Earth and they no longer appear to be craters, but they are all over the Earth. But here on Google Earth, you can see the crater with the ice in it here just peeking out from the edge of the glacier here. Here is the Hiawatha Glacier with this impact crater. But our planet has been hit repeatedly by objects from space. We have craters all over the Earth. Some people are not aware of, but if you just take your time on Google Earth and look for them, they're everywhere. This is a very important discovery in Greenland and might give a lot of answers to questions that have been asked for a long time. But one thing is very clear to me when looking back at the big picture, nothing has affected the human story and human development more than visitors and impacts from space. Stuff that we really haven't seen in our present era, and we have no clue how bad they actually are. 
31 kilometers across, this would have caused devastation that we cannot wrap our heads around. Now we had a bus size object explode over Russia a few years ago, injured thousands, a 31 kilometer impact crater. Just 12,000 years ago, this might have been the devastating event that altered human history. But I'm going to take you out with a video showing you 10 impact craters from around the world. This is one that we just found. I'm sure there are many more that we are going to discover with new ways of technology and finding them. But I'm going to take you out with that video. Here's 10 craters from around the world. Maybe you've heard of some of these. Maybe some of these you haven't. But hope you thought this was cool and you all have a very nice day.